Hi, Al here from Easy Fit Saddles. Our saddles are adjustable to the rider uh, in a number of different ways. First of all, we make them uh, close contact to the horse via our single strap stirrup system, a seat belt webbing, thick worth of material so you're nice and close to your horse. And the second is the aircraft cable, a loop of aircraft cable, stainless steel, uh, coated that runs around the whole tree and pulls evenly front to back on the girth. So that keeps you close as we can to your horse, eliminates all that bulk of leather underneath you. Next we have adjustments in the seat. Uh, we add shims, uh, a piece of foam that can be shaped to your particular uh, body and riding position. Uh, men sometimes like it a little bit thicker, so we put a, uh, a little more thickness in the sides underneath the thighs. Uh, women tend to like it a lot thinner, so we want to scoop out for their thighs and put them as close as possible to the horse. And by making these a little bit higher, uh, we can make it feel a little bit thinner, especially for uh, re hip replacements or injuries. Um, this can be a real lifesaver, a real game changer to get people riding, or keep them in the saddle. The other thing is we can push the sa that pad back and reshape it to fit that area, and that will roll your pelvis ahead. And pull it ahead will make more of a pocket, so more of a western style uh, chair seat, if you will. And the next thing is our stirrup uh, strap, that single strap stirrup system is easy to rip off. It's non-Velcro, so just by tearing it loose from the top of the saddle, we can reposition it ahead or back. About four inches of clear, uh, four inches of travel. And that gets your feet or your stirrups underneath wherever your body position. If you get a big booty, you're going to be further ahead in the saddle, so your stirrups have to follow you. If you're a skinny little fella with no, nothing back there, you're probably going to be fall back, and that's going to require the stirrups to follow you again. Next is our uh, is our uh, single strap stirrup system again. It's uh, the fender is uh, floating on the uh, stirrup strap. So to keep it in place, we have to have a, this hobble strap. This hobble strap, we have uh, a stirrup turner in there. So we get the effect of turning the stirrup uh, without all that rigmarole of uh, the wrap and so forth that uh, a lot of Western saddles use. So our, our T-buckle fits into the slot, and that's how you adjust it up and down. Turn it over. It's protected against the fender on the one side and the, this piece of leather on the other side. Now this hobble strap has to go right around through that twister, through the fender, and then done up on the back side. Any other way of doing that just doesn't seem to work. There's only that one way to do it. And by tightening that up, twist the stirrup and supports that fender in that position. And that's it, our uh, adjustment to the horse and rider. I guess, why would you want to change that stirrup position? And so a lot of saddles and people ride in a, uh, a chair position. Their feet are out front, they're braced against the cantle. I'm not adjusted properly, but that's kind of the idea. Slouch back, that uh, locks up all your joints, your knees, your ankles, everything is locked in place. It's a secure ride, but it does take uh, you, uh, your ability to follow the horse in, that, in the motion of the horse out of the picture. And it makes it hard on your body because you've locked up all your natural shock absorbers. It's left to put strain on your neck. I know when I ride like that, my, my neck is sore the next day. It takes a couple of days as I get older, it gets worse. Um, so by getting balanced, and by balanced I mean hips, your shoulders, hips and heels in alignment, stand up and drop yourself down. Don't flop back but stop straight down. That puts your butt off the back of the candle, no brace there. Now we want to try and get some support uh, by making more contact with our thigh. So let's roll our leg back, pull that muscle out from underneath your leg, put your leg closer to the horse. Your knees should be nice and close, even with the horse, and now you should feel your, con uh, your calves in contact with your horse. Riding this way, uh, again, lets you follow the motion of the horse. By keeping a little more weight in your stirrups, you can get up and you can actually follow that motion, get in sync with that horse. That makes it a lot easier for the horse to carry you. You may be a, a nicer package to carry, and uh, it gives you 
a nicer ride. You're, uh, you're not bouncing all over the place, you're not bracing, you're relaxed, balanced over top, and therefore everything starts to come together. You ride nicer, you feel nicer, your horse feels nicer. So everything improves. The contact with your horse improves and your ride improves. But it takes a while to get there. To start with, your body says, no, that's not right. Uh, that's out of position. That saddle's not fitting me. Uh, and I'm not secure. I'm scared. So then they fall back to <clears throat> bracing against the back. So I suggest that you do it a little bit of time. Take that stirrup strap, put it where you're comfortable, move it back a quarter inch. And we'll ride for, say, three or four hours like that until it becomes normal. You don't notice the difference. Then move back another quarter until you get in alignment to get that alignment of the hips, heel, shoulder, all together. Anyways, that's my two bits. Give it a try. You'll think you'll like our saddles.